If I were to ask you what the highest point in Minnesota is, and again, I don't know, would you know what that is right off the top of your head? Uh, it's Eagle Mountain. <laughs> okay, Gopi, I'm not going to try and stump you. For Sartell High School student Gopi Ramanathan, being quizzed on geography is nothing new. He's won gold at National Geography Bees and says that friends and classmates have been trying to stump him with questions for years. Like, I remember even in middle school, when like high schoolers were riding in the back of the bus, they would just bring me to the back of the bus and ask me questions and I thought it was kind of cool to make connections with high schoolers and I thought it was something unusual as well but it was definitely fun. Gopi has been interested in geography since his elementary school years. His family is from Sri Lanka and often took summer trips there which led him to fall in love with the subject. And I've also enjoyed math and science as well. I always think it's kind of interesting how like these two subjects kind of like are the basis of everything in our world and how like everything in the world can be explained by math or by science. And I just feel like it's interesting as they keep on making new discoveries. Gopi's teacher and student council advisor, Carrie Fredrickson, says he's an incredible student who's also managed to stay down to earth despite his vast knowledge. He's always being quizzed by his classmates and he always took the challenge, but he was never conceited about his knowledge. He always was very willing to work with any group that was in my room. He was always very conscientious of including other people and people are very magnetized to him because of his personality. Along with Knowledge Bowl, Gopi is also president of the State Student Council Association and plays soccer for Sartell. I did try one last time to stump him with the history question, which didn't go so well for me. If you can describe Sartell in like 60 seconds, a brief history of Sartell, what would that be? Uh, well, Sartell did start off as a lumber town. Since then, it has been growing with like its location on the river and with the major lumber industry and also with the introduction of the pipes industry with Zurich. And since then, it's just kept on growing and growing. And as a suburb of St. Cloud, Sartell serves as like a source for St. Cloud's labor as well. And with that and the school system here has also been a draw for many families too. And today we are here with a population of 17,000. That's unbelievable. <laughs> I can't believe it. Reporting from Sartell, I'm Dan Devon, WJON.